because we are all stressed and there's so much uncertainty in life, be, when your stress level goes up, you become more susceptible to medical conditions. Right, physical right, health and mental health. health. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Right, your stress reaction uh, starts the immune system, and, and that can cause inflammation, which causes chronic illness. Mm -hmm. Right, so there, so it's it's crazy how this works, right? But like you know the more stress that we have actually the more susceptible that we are to covid and any other illness there is out there right um stress is also linked to the six leading causes of death you know so we we we've got a in, the, in a time like this it's imperative you know that we just try to manage our mental health the best way that we can yeah so i think i think a really big thing is going to be to manage our mental health is going to be stress management um, sure. we'll talk about like some themes that we're seeing in practice. One of the biggest themes I'm seeing with parents, cause I work with, uh, adolescents and adults, um, with parents is kind of, how do we adjust with, there's no more school, you know, I'm trying to work from home. What, how does that balance? Right. And right. then it seems like people are taking it differently. Uh, right. So, but, um, I would say definitely the best thing is going to be creating a routine. That's going to be for adults, parents, whatever. Um, so if you usually wake up, you know, eat your breakfast, go to work now, you know, what does that look like now? It may be able, you know, wake up, you know, since you're not physically going to work, you still want to, uh, get into the routine of trying to keep things as, as natural as they, as they are. I have yeah. one patient who's like, he's like, I get up, I take my shower, I get dressed like I'm going to work and they just work from the living room. Yeah. Right. Yeah, like that, that I think is incredibly useful, right? Because you gotta, um, we, we're not, we're not used to not having those external motivators, you know, right. like having to be, uh, it's, it's, it's a blessing, right, to not have a commute, if you're fortunate to be able to continue to work from home, right? And uh, to kind of, you know, operate from the comfort of your home, right? Because the work environment can be stressful for many people. So if you're one of those, right, it's a blessing. But um also, there's, you know, with the other side of that, though, is that, you know, you're externally motivated to get to work on time to, you know, be presentable and to eat breakfast in the morning and get be dressed productive, and take care you of know? yourself. Right, yeah. You know? And you're less so, so you got to kind of do that for yourself. And for some people, it works really well to kind of write it down because mm -hmm. then that paper becomes an external motivation, so to speak, that's telling them to, to do that. But a, but a lot of us are, you know, switching or motivated to have having to do it ourselves. So it's, it's challenging. It's a transition. I think, like you were sharing, like some of the things that you see in your practice, people, like one, one of the things that I see is, um, I mean, we talked about stress. I think there's existential anxiety about like our world and, you know, what it's going to look like and whether we're going to be okay as a civilization and society. I think there's some people who are feeling hopeless, you know, like they, you know, they're not sure where to go. And, I, I want to say to that, and, you know, we can maybe talk about some, some ways to kind of deal with some of these, some of the things we're identifying. I, I want to say with that, and really with any feeling that comes up, right, it's, it's so important to be able to name it and speak to it. Like okay. It is talk that talk. To feel it, right? You got you to, you, you, you know, there's, there's so many things that we can feel that are overwhelming, right? And it's still important to feel it. Like if you need to have a breakdown, have a breakdown. If you need to cry it out, cry it out. If you need to feel the stress and the weight and to feel so unbearably worn down by it for a moment, feel that. It's important mm -hmm. that we feel it because it gives voice to our bodily, our, our, our bodily experience, both visceral and subtle, right? And that otherwise would have no avenue, other avenue of being addressed, right? If you, you experience physical pain, right? You break your leg, you know what that is. If you're screaming, you're going to, right, right, right. Right, there's a method for resolving it. There is a way to kind of um, deal with it, right? There's understanding around it, but with emotions, there is no location. It's amorphous. When you get your feelings hurt, you don't get put in the cast. It's hard to right. describe what it is that we feel sometimes. There's layers to it. There's symbolism to it. It's past and present. Uh, it's being referenced from past and present, right? There's emotions are confusing. So we don't always know why it is that we feel the way that we feel. And even when we do know, it's only a part. But whatever we can speak to it, like we, we need to be able to, because that helps us to um, to work through it. You can't work through what you don't identify, what you don't name, and what you don't allow yourself to experience. 
So even during this time, manage the level of stress that you feel. Um, acknowledge the level of fear or panic that you feel. Um, and, you know, do what you can to keep it under control, but also make sure that you're acknowledged that it does, it does exist, right? If right. you're in denial or if you're completely avoiding, then it, it has a way of staying there. Just because you don't acknowledge it doesn't mean it's not happening. So we have to still uh, do what we can to acknowledge what it is that we feel, put some words to it so that we can work through it. That's the only way you, you get through stuff. You got, you got to go through it, not around it. Right. That, so that's especially true for when we feel. For 